I don't like to sit still, so I've always got something on my mind, something exciting to do and try. And there's no part of me that thinks that I don't have a lot more to learn and a lot more to go. And I think that's exciting. Like I wouldn't want to be standing here saying, yeah, I've done it, I've done it all. Whether it works or doesn't, I, it doesn't matter as long as I give it a go and see what could have happened. What I've developed over time is addiction to wanting to be better and pushing my limits. Hello, how are you? Good. How are you? Yeah, we've been at the gym. Been at the gym, yeah. Didn't punch anyone? The usual. No, I'm punching people tonight. Just um, usual? Yes, yes, please. Thank you. I first started boxing when I was only about 12 years old, I think. Yeah. I started as cross training for it's football, one of my and I fell in love with it because it was brutal, and I and I love it. And change angles. Number six again. Shut up. Change. That's it. Nice. I actually started a gym a few years ago, just before COVID. I put a lot of money and time into making all of it happen and it was going to be my own brand and it was going to be great and I was really excited and I was so invested in it and then COVID happened and I felt like this is weird, like this is, something is off. So I pulled out of it, I counted my losses and I just had a feeling that it wasn't the right thing to keep going. It is funny how things work out because in the moment I was like, this is it, this is going to be my big thing, this is going to be my legacy but it wasn't meant to be, so I cut it and then I just moved on to the next thing really quickly and along came the celebrant career. And then after that, investing in other property and all the while training to be a fighter and a footy player. This is my little journal. It's got fat dogs on it, as you can see. Fat dog, fat dog, fat dog. It's very important. What we did for the warm up. I have no reservation towards failure. If it doesn't work out, that's fine. I haven't reached any peak of what I can do. I know that I'm capable of so much more and I can't wait to show that. Two. One. Two. One. 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 Yes! <laughs> I don't see my legacy as being the best player to or fighter to have ever walked the earth. I'm actually not interested in that. I would like it to be personally to have got everything out of myself and to have felt <laughs> that I've achieved everything that I possibly could have. See, I just want to be the kind of person that goes day to day trying my best. And I don't care if that lives up to anyone else's expectations. The way that I think back about a week, a month or even a day and think, did I do enough today to live up to the standards that I have and the values that I hold? And they are just to be a good person. There's no part of me that thinks that I don't have a lot more to learn and a lot more to go. The only thing I know that is if you don't try it and you don't do it, you'll get no results. But if you give it a go, that could be the best thing that's happened to you.